Now, despite the falling numbers, masks will stay on in schools and other indoor public places for now. That is the latest legal decision in a battle that's gone back and forth. As News 12's Antoinette Biorti tells us, the reaction is just as split. The New York State mask mandate will stay in place, at least for now. A mask for kids. Yeah, a mask for kids. But that didn't stop this group of Long Island parents from coming out to fight the mandate in schools. It's ridiculous at this point. Amanda Schaefer of Seaford is concerned for her three kids. I believe in vaccines. I believe in science. But what I don't believe is unnecessary mandates for my two and four year old. And I'm also here fighting for my six year old who is in first grade and has never been to school without a mask. From the steps of the legislative building here in Mineola, many of them took their message to the street to make their voices heard. Yesterday, an appeals court granted a full stay that keeps the New York State mask mandate in effect until judges can hear arguments on both sides of the case. Other parents we talked to say their kids will continue to follow the mandate. Everyone fighting over this, it just, for me, it doesn't make sense, especially when there is um, a large part of the community that is in favor of keeping everyone safe. The New York State mask mandate for indoor spaces like restaurants and bars has been in effect since mid-December when COVID cases were on the rise. Amanda Bubak, who is the manager of Rose Sandwich House in Mineola, says her customers and staff continue to follow the mandate and it hasn't negatively impacted them. I think people are used to wearing it regardless of where they go at this point. It's kind of just second nature. It's like the new normal, as everybody says. The mask mandate is set to expire February 10th in most public places and February 21st for schools. However, the governor has said she will continue to reevaluate it every two weeks and possibly extend it. In Mineola, Antoinette Biorti, News 12, Long Island. And an appellate judge says New York State has until March 2nd to file an appeal.